Welcome to our Cabinet Vision data tutorial on backups and transfers. In today's tutorial, I'm using Cabinet Vision Solid Ultimate version 9. There are a few different ways you can back up your Cabinet Vision data. There are two utilities that Planet provides to aid in transferring solid files between computers, the backup utility and the setup packages. Or alternatively, you can copy and paste files directly in Windows Explorer. First, let's look at the backup utility. This method is predominantly used to transfer data from a previous version into a newer version of Solid. Keeping in mind, however, that in the particular case of upgrading from version 8 to version 9, the correct procedure is to migrate your data during the initial installation process. Also, in many cases, when there's a large variation of data, or you may not be sure exactly what data has been changed, the backup utility is the best way of transferring your files. From the Splash screen, go to the Utilities tab, and within the Tools group, you will find the Backup Utility icon here. When you open this utility, the first tab is called the Backup List, and this tab allows you to select what data you want to back up. There are several options here. Construction methods will back up the wizdata.wdb file, which stores all cabinet and drawer construction methods as well as user-created standards and IntelliJoints. Part Material Catalog will back up the CX Materials file, either the ACCDB file for Access Database or the MDF file for SQL Database. These files store all materials, material schedules and parts. Door Catalog will back up the door.ddb file, which will back up all information in the door catalog. Report Database will back up the report.mdb file, which stores all report groups and bid rate tables. CNC Database is only relevant if you use S2M Center. Checking this option will back up the psnc.mdb file, which stores the tool and machine catalogs. Custom Cabinet Library will back up the custom cabinets.cvc, which stores the custom cabinets library. Generic Cabinet Library will back up the generic library. The file is generic.cvc. Drawings will back up the drawings.sym file, which stores all the CAD symbols and title blocks. Posts will back up all post files that you use to output to CNC. Again, this is only relevant if you use S2M Center. System parameters will back up the system parameters that are stored in the Windows registry. Any items in the Others list with the .cvc extension are additional assembly catalogs that you can back up. Stock.ddb is the database that stores doors for the generic library. Prices.spt is the database that stores pricing information for the generic library. Matsum.mdb is the database that stores material summary information for the last job taken to the report or bid centre. Default.dat is the file that contains layer information and custom settings for your dimensions. By clicking on Select Job, this button will allow you to attach a job to your backup. This is especially handy when sending information to Help Desk for technical support assistance. You can select the set of databases involved and also attach the relevant job file in which the issue is occurring, so the technician gets all the related information in one file. Email Backup is very handy for emailing backups of grouped files to Help Desk for technical support issues. With this option selected, once the backup is complete, Solid will zip it up and open a new email message if you're using Microsoft Outlook with the backup attached. A very efficient way of sharing information. The Delete Archives tab allows you to delete old backups that either you or Solid Install has created, which will free up disk space. The Settings tab allows you to set up automatic deletion of backups, referred to here as archives. Here is where you also establish the destination of the backup files. Once you have selected what files you want to back up, select OK and when the backup utility is finished running, you must close Solid. This creates a folder that contains each of the selected files plus a zipped file called backup.zip. This zip file contains all the files in a compressed format. There may also be a graphics folder which contains any textures or images applied to any materials that were in the backup. This new folder will be labelled with today's date and time and will be placed on your hard drive within the automatic backups folder in whatever version of Planet you use to produce the backup. I have created this example in version 9. Remember, you may be backing up data from an old version to a new version or within the same version to share data on separate computers. 
Either way, before you can restore a backup to another system, you need to make sure the backup folder is copied into the automatic backups folder on the new system. It is extremely important that Cabinet Vision Solid is closed throughout this process. You need to open the Restore Settings option. Here I am using Windows 8 and this can be done by either going to All Apps and finding the Restore Settings option within the Cabinet Vision Solid 9 group, or using the Windows Search tool to locate the Restore Settings option, or selecting the cvrestore.exe file within the Solid 9 folder in Windows Explorer. Either way, when you find and select the Restore option, the following screen will appear where you can choose to restore all or some of the files within the backup. Now let's look at using the Setup Packages utility. In cases where you know exactly what changes have been made to your data, this method is perfect. Setup Packages can be imported into all levels of Solid, however you can only create new Setup Packages in Solid Advanced or Solid Ultimate. Using the drop down menu on the right, you can sort through your categories to find the files you wish to include in the package. The window below the drop down will display a list of options within each category. Here you can be extremely specific by selecting either a single file or a group of files. Once the file you require is highlighted, select the Add Items to Package button. Certain selections, such as these schedules, will automatically include all relevant linked files to that main file. When you have added all the files you require, select to save the package. Be mindful of where you are saving the package to and give it a specific name. To restore a saved setup package onto another system, select the open icon. Locate the package file you wish to restore, noting that all setup packages will have the file extension .pkg and should only be opened as shown here. Once the package has opened, you can view its contents. From here, change to import mode. The green and red markings here are options you can select regarding whether you wish to override any current information that may already be in your system if there is an exact match of the file. When you are satisfied with your override selections, you can then select the handshake icon to import the contents. Finally, let's look at how you can simply copy and paste files into your database via Windows Explorer. Providing you are using the exact same version and build of the software on each system, you can quickly and easily copy files between each. Once again, it is extremely important that Cabinet Vision Solid is closed throughout this process. To do this, you must understand what information is in each file. Here is a list of common files and their purpose, as well as the location where they are typically stored. The most important thing to remember when copying and pasting files this way is that you are pasting the files in the correct location within the Planet Solid folder and that Cabinet Vision is closed. Note that you may also have to adjust the permission settings on your Planet folder and allow the files within it to be shared with everyone to ensure your computer allows you to move files around. Having said that, you should speak with your IT department before changing any security settings on your system. Once any files have been pasted into your solid folder, you will need to run the cvupdateversion.exe file to complete the transfer. This process performs several functions. It creates backups so that you will have a restore point if ever needed. It cleans up the databases and removes any errors that are found. It compacts the databases to remove empty space in the solid database files. It updates the databases to ensure they are all current with the changes that have been made during the development of new versions and builds of Solid or transfers of files, and it re-registers system files used by Solid. That concludes our backups and transfers tutorial. Thank you for watching.